Welcome to part three of this video guide on how to create a web form. Now that you have your table created, which contains all of the fields and data types, let's see how easy it is to create a web form. You'll click on the new data page link to launch Caspio's point and click application builder. Data pages are application interfaces that embed seamlessly into any website, intranet, or blog. You can create forms, reports, calendars, charts, and even HTML data pages if you're slightly more technical. I'll select Submission Form and Continue. I'll choose my Contacts table that we just created as the Data Source table because that's where I want the data to be submitted. Here you can also select a specific style to change the aesthetics of your application, and you can choose a specific localization to apply different regional settings. On the next screen, let's select all of our fields to be included in the web form. Once you reach the Properties screen, you'll be able to configure each field by selecting it on the left-hand side and using the Form Element drop-down on the right side. For example, if I want to turn the Contact Method into a radio button, I will select that option from the drop-down menu. Next, I'll add some custom values that we want as radio button options. Let's add phone, email, and maybe no preference. Let's also change the comments field to a text area so that we can see a box and the information that we're typing. To see what the form looks like at this point, you can click on the preview button at any time. You can go back to Caspio to continue modifying the rest of your fields, but if you're happy with the form, you can click on Finish to save your changes. You have officially, within just a few minutes, created your very first web form. In the final video of this series, I'll show you how to deploy the form to a website, but for now, let's continue adding other objects for our application. Join me in the next video where I show you how to create a searchable report. I'll see you there.